Sam here. I just want to fill you in on a new tool that I've been using a lot lately and really want to recommend you give it a try as well. So Replit. Replit is an online IDE is what I think they call them. I'm not a, you know, I'm not a programmer. I'm not a coder. Um, but the opportunities that are opening up for anyone, myself included, to jump in and start to build code-based applications has never been easier. Um, and it's literally getting easier every day. You'll see here in, in my screen here that there's this new um, thing that's like opened up a few days from recording this video called Ripple Agent, which does some incredible things in here. I don't want to spend any time in this video on that. Uh, because it takes a bit of time to actually work through and build apps. I just want to give you an overview of what Replit actually does, because I think for those in our audience who maybe aren't into building um, code-based applications, you know, I just want to really highlight to you what what is changing out there. Like we're, we are in a new era here where, in my opinion, there is no such thing as no code anymore. Like everything is no code. So what once was code is now no code, even though no code was a very overused term, I would say, because a lot of these no code tools require a lot of code, by the way. But in any case, Replit enables you, it's, it's like an online code editor. Okay, so let's, let's just let's just dive into one that I recently built something I recently built within here, right? And we'll just go through this demo. And I'll show you maybe what I did, and how um, how you can do it too. Okay. One of the great things about Replit is you can connect directly into GitHub, right? So many of you may or may not um, have a GitHub account, right? I re totally recommend setting one up because it, it speeds up basically everything you do around building um, applications. Because what, what I do is I, or what I did in this case, I wanted to build an audio, like a speech to speech AI um, assistant. Right, and I went and searched for um, a template online. I went and searched for an open source project online. I forked it into my own um, into my own uh, repos, and then I brought it from my own uh, repo into my repull, which is what Replit calls its own um, um, apps within it. Right, so I didn't like myself. I did not create any of these myself. They were all part of the template. And I, but I've built upon them, right? I've built upon them over time as I've um, adjusted them. I've used AI to help me um, change functionality and change various things in them, okay? Mm -hmm. So you have the ability to like see all the code, see exactly um, how all the code is, um, has been developed. This is where you can edit code uh, and where you can make changes to your app. The files down the left-hand side is where you're gonna find all of the different parts of your application. This here does take a while to get used to because, I mean, even now I look at it and I see weird names. I feel, see, see weird file extensions that I don't really know that much about. I mean, even though I don't know much about them, I'm, I don't feel worried about it because I've, I can literally just like copy and paste an image of this into, into ChatGPT or Claude, or I can come to the AI um, uh, part of this application. I can ask AI, right? And let's see if I can split this actually. Yeah, so I can f find the, the the AI within here is incredible. So I can ask the AI anything inside of here if I want. Um, so it's always one click away for me to actually understand a little bit more about what's going on, right? And so, you know, I learned here, you know, this is where most of the work gets done, right? And then you've got your layouts where this is um, what, what um, is the design of the application. It's a very, very simple application, as you can see. And if you want to, you know, learn more about it, you can just like copy and paste the code and copy and paste it into here or copy and paste it into ChatGPT, Claude, Data Mentor, our own one. Um, there's plenty of ways you can learn a little bit more about it, right? The other good thing about here is that you can run, you can run it within, within here. Okay, and this takes a little while getting used to. They've got like your console and shell. I mean, I still get confused as to what these things actually are, but I, I do refer back to them sometimes when I'm told to by the AI, right? But what this enables you to do, okay, so see something's wrong with it at the moment, right? Um, I think this is my 
like some updates that I made recently, my deployed application should work, but this is, this is actually, um, it's got some error, but this is like, in terms of, you know, you, you get this a lot in program, man, and it's just, just, just reality, right? But all you have to do is go like this, right? This is how good the AI is here. And it will come back and tell you, it will come back and tell you exactly what to do to fix this, right? I think it's something to do with within here. And this is, like, there's a lot of trial and error for those you know novice developers like ourselves right like some some developers are probably amazing and they can read this and they can identify the issue straight away right but for those of us who are just like learning to code and trying to learn to code with ai which is totally legitimate and my uh, totally legitimate way to learn a lot of there's a lot of um trial and error and that's just just the reality just the reality of um of of, of doing things but it, it is the best it is a fantastic way to learn okay i've learned more about developing in the last three weeks than I've ever learned, you know, and I've, I've you know, tried reading books in the past, I've tried various different means of like learning to code, and I would have never have been able to do anything like this until recently. Okay, so it's telling me to do something, I won't do it on this, um, on this particular video, because I just want to show you, show you um, a demo of Repl. that's my main, my main goal um, of this video. Okay, so one of the other, so great editor, great help with AI, you can fix things within here, right? So um, you don't even have to go to this um, AI side panel if you don't want to, you can come in here and go modify with AI, explain with AI. So it's really good at just like, okay, so say you don't, so you don't know what a part of this does, right? So, um, okay, so, so we want to just like get this explained to us, explain with AI. So within here, we can get an inbuilt explanation, right? Very, very good. It's pretty detailed, pretty detailed. So very, very helpful, um, but 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 helpful nonetheless, right? And then we want to obviously go escape to close. Cool. So a great way to like become familiar with um, what, what is actually going on with, in an application. You know, one of the things that has not changed yet, and I just want to like really re reiterate this, is that you need to invest the time to understand what is going on here. Okay, so you need to understand like what I call the logic. And this is no different to understanding Excel formulas, DAX formulas, understanding M code, understanding like any code. You have to understand it, but, you, but what's great now is you don't have to write it out. Writing this out, it's hard, very, very hard, right? But you don't, you don't wanna do that. You don't wanna do that now. You wanna, as much as you can, be able to just understand the flow, understand the logic of it, and that will get you a really long way. Understand how these different um, components all come together to, to create an app. It's almost like having the architectural design of the app in your mind, like thinking how when you do something on the web app itself, like what is it doing in behind the scenes within the code? And a lot of this code some of the some of the ways that that code operates is 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 maybe different to formulas or different to other like coding languages you've used before. Some some sometimes it can just jump to specific specific parts of the code depending on what you click on the website. So that, it's just understanding that, and that's a lot of learning that I have personally done recently. Um, that that has helped me helped me a lot as I've sort of tried to understand like the over like overall what's going on and how that will and that and that will ha help me as I build more things out. Uh, and that's what will help you as well if you want to further your um, your web app development that, um, that you wanna work on. Okay, let's actually have a look at the app itself. And I'll show you what it can actually do. It's, it's, it's a very simple app, but it's, and it's got a very simple design and sometimes that works really well. Um, oh, I've forgotten what this was called, hold on a second. Speech to speech demo. So ultimately, this was a demo of uh, Grok, which is a inference technology for AI. It's, it's kind of amazing, actually. And I do plan to put this into this new area we call eDNA Labs um, within our platform, which which is where we're going to put a lot of these, a lot of these apps. Right. I did also um, have to. So the, the the template itself was very good, but it didn't set it all up for me. I had to go and connect to this. Um, AI voice technology called Cartesia, which is amazing. Uh, the, 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 the quality of the voice and the realness is like insane. 
Um, and I had to do some various other things. I changed a bit of the styling. I tried some things that didn't actually quite work, but I was just like, it was just playing around for a few hours and um, was was impressed by what I got to. Let's let's give this a go and I'll I'll um, let's see um, let's see where it gets to and maybe I can show you while I'm like while I'm in here like how you could use it and where where eventually I'll I'll place it on our own on our own platform so you can use it. Okay, not a great start, but <laughs> uh, let's just try again. Let's just try again. What can you help me with today? Do you know much about web app development in Replit. Okay, it's pretty cool, right? Hopefully you're able to hear that in this recording. But I mean, I built this, I built this, I, I use the template, but it, you know what the hidden secret is of like most developers is they are all using, uh, like a lot of developers are just copying templates for certain features <laughs> within applications. I mean, this is what I've learned. You know, th this is this is what you do in developing is you, you, you bring a lot of, you know, real, like real development is not writing everything from scratch for every single application, you know, like a lot of open source projects are used and brought, um, and connected up. And this is just a new way of doing things. It truly is. It truly is. And I think Replit is a big part of, um, how a lot of, a, a lot of us novice users can get, really get into it. There's lots of other ideas and, um, I, I'm going to use them. I use, I've used visual studio before. There's a new one called cursor. Um, there's some that, are perfect like better for python development and ai development so there's, there's a few but this i think is a very general purpose easy to understand easy to like fulfills like nearly everything for you in, in one area um so a really really great piece of technology to get your hands on and to and to start working in right maybe we can graduate to something a bit more um substantial or or can can deal with a bit more complexity later on i'm I, I'm, I'm not quite sure but for now for now i think it's um everything i need to continue to learn and to continue to get better um at uh, programming web apps even though some of them might feel simple um you know just just really being able to get into it and 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 learn by doing and that's what i want to do a lot more of and i want to show you a lot more of as well um because you know times are changing times are changing there's just so much more you can do there's so much more value you can generate uh for yourself for your company like as, as a business you've got to be embracing these tools um to to un unearth some new opportunities to optimize some th some things you might be doing within your business there's just it's just crazy what you can achieve absolutely crazy even now and uh, with some of these agents and some of these other things that are coming out it's just going to get even even better so so jumping on board um i is something i highly highly recommend okay thanks all thanks for tuning in i'll uh chat to you again soon